To the legal academic, Dr. Joel Grogan, a senior researcher at the academic think tank UK in a changing Europe uh, at King's College. Hello to you. Thanks for being with us. Uh, we're going to discuss this proposed bill uh, for a minimum service to be provided by trade unions even during the middle of a strike. Uh, Grant Shapps is very keen to stress that Britain is simply getting in line with the rest of Europe on this. Um, economies like Italy and France and, and Germany, how are those laws activated? How, do they, how are they run in relation to this? Well, as all things legal, the devil is in the detail. It's very, well, it's very easy to say that other countries in Europe have minimum standard levels, but we always need to ask, what are those minimum standards levels? And we also need to think about it in terms of the wider body of rights and worker protections across Europe. So they might not have the same laws or standards that we do widely across workers' rights. But if we're just focusing on minimum standards, if I said or if I use the new government power that's being proposed to say that all ambulances have to run and all nurses have to work as a minimum standard, so 100%, that's essentially tantamount to a ban. This is why it's so important to understand what uh, the business secretary means by consultation and also how he intends to use that power that's going to be given that as a power that's not defined within the bill he could use in any way shape or form he could change minimum standards potentially if this bill is passed as it is drafted currently yeah that's really interesting isn't it the whole, that whole idea of consultation because my understanding is that in those parts of Europe that perhaps um, uh, Mr. Shapps is referring to, there was clear consultation and agreement between the unions and the government on what a minimum service level actually is. Now, given that there's antagonism between the unions and the government here, the unions will probably say, yeah, we think minimum service should be, I don't know, 35 percent. The government says it should be 75 percent, but the government can impose what it wants. That's very different from the situation in Europe. It, absolutely. So this is a power to set minimum standards. There's no mandated consultation, at least what I've seen in the draft. No mandated consultation. So the government could just push the and say minimum service is 80 percent. I immediately need to condition that this needs to pass through the Lords who might have a slightly different uh, view of workers' rights and standards. We also, if we are talking about Europe, we also need to consider whether or not this could fall foul of the level playing field conditions that we've signed up to under the trade uh, agreement with the EU. So are we very significantly undermining workers' standards by setting minimum standards? Now, this seems unlikely, um, but it would all, again, depend on the detail. What are those minimum standards that are being set and how will they be decided? It does sound as if there are a lot of hurdles still to be got through before this can actually become legislation. And one wonders then, critics of the government's plans would argue, that this is simply an attempt to be seen to be tough in the middle of a negotiation and an attempt to show the public that it's on... Well... One other aspect that I, I feel that as a legal expert I need to emphasize is there is no right to strike in the UK. Yeah. The right to strike does not exist. So what we have is a right to association, a right to join a trade union, but that's under very specific conditions. So it has to be necessary in a democratic society. It has to be necessary to protect public security and public health.